Hi everyone, this is Samya Naini from Armisa, India. I hope everyone are doing well and safe there. It's our pleasure to share our experiences while working with India Health Facilities Import Process in this virtual exotium. I would like to thank all the organizers and the volunteers who worked together to make this successful exotium. Thank you. Let's begin with the goal of the project. Our goal of this project is to provide the accurate healthcare information to the OpenStreetMap using the India's Open Government Data Directories, which can be useful for the general public and also the volunteers in the disaster management in India. We have three different geo-coordinate data from the Open Government Data Platform, which includes Hospital Directory, NIN Health Facility Directory, and Red Bank Directory. In Hospital Directory, we have all the private hospitals in India, including clinic and some of the major public hospitals as well. In NIN Health Facilities Directory, we have purely public hospitals and the public healthcare centers. Coming to the Red Bank Directory, we have all the blood bank units across the country. Let's entitle the open government data. The OGD means the data produced or commissioned by the government or any government control entities. The site data.gov.in is an Indian government website, is a platform for supporting the open data initiative of the government of India. As the title I defined, the data is open, which means it is freely used, reused or redistributed by anyone. It's good to know that the open data platform is being also offered to the other countries and being implemented in United States as their data.gov. Few other countries including Ghana are also powered by the open data platform. OGD is open data as it allows freely to access the government data and share the same with the other citizens. We can say the data is transparency. The open government data permits the data to reuse and redistribute including the intermixing with the other data sets. This helps to drive the creation of the innovation of the businesses and services. We can say OJD supports universal participation, which means it is about making a full read and write society. So, the OGD is not just about knowing what is happening in the process of governance, but being able to contribute to it. So, every citizen of a country which is following open government data can contribute to the open data. By now, we have understood that the open data is freely available to everyone to use and republish as they wish without restriction from copyright, patent, or other mechanism of control. Here on the screen, you can see the license published by the Open Data Government of India. To improve the map data of OISM, we have collected few of the Open Government Data Directories, which have been published by the government with their coordinate data sets of Health Facilities of India. These directories include all the public and private hospitals in three different data sets, which are National Hospital Directory, Link Health Facility Directory, and Blood Bank Directory. So, now let's see the structure of the health facilities in India. The healthcare system in India is vast and universal. You can see on the screen that the Indian healthcare system is organized into public and private system. The public healthcare system is further divided into three subdivisions, which will be seen in the next slide. And the private healthcare system is based on the profit and non-profit organization. And this private healthcare system is ranking top 20 of the world's countries in its private spending at 4.2% of GDP. Now let's see the public healthcare system in India. In India, Public hospitals are also called as government hospitals or southern hospitals, which are free and subsidized for the people who are below poverty line. 
Additionally, for the women and elderly people, the government had given the extra public services. The Indian public health care system is divided into three major levels, primary, secondary and tertiary levels. At the primary level, the sub-centers are the first interaction point between the primary health care and the local community. At the secondary level, we can see the community health centers where the facilities run at least with the four medical surgeons. Finally, the top level of the public care provided by the government is the tertiary level, which consists of government hospitals and the government medical colleges, where we can find the high patient load with all the medical facilities, which is totally free of cost. Now let's go into the OSM India Health Facilities import process. By following the OSM import guideline, we have started importing the OGD Health Facilities directory into OpenStreetMap with some support of the local community using a standard workflow which is on the screen. Data preparation. It is the first phase of the import process where all the three directories from the OGD datasets will be divided into smaller datasets based on the states and cities in India. You can see on the screen, the OGD datasets have been further divided into smaller sections based on states and cities in India. Then all the records of divided state and city-wise datasets are ensured to be clean before importing into OSM. This is a reoccurring process where we ensure to remove the invalid values in the dataset, like clearing the multiple spaces in the text, invalid symbols or it may be the blank values, values with zeros or any's. Also, we make sure to remove the duplicate record in the dataset at the same location provided by the open government data directories. Then all these values are converted to the proper text. Then finally, we convert these OGD attributes into the OSM compatible tags, like defining the amenity or healthcare tag based on the health facility record or contact and address related attributes to respected OSM key and values. Later, these cleanup files will be loaded into JOSM to undergo the JOSM validation checks. Then these records will be converted and saved as a GeoJSON file for further execution process. Data execution. This is the second phase of the import process. Here we revalidate the every health facility record by verifying the existing OSM data to avoid duplicate. If we find a pre-existing hospital at the location, we will try to enhance the tag by adding the additional information to the health facility. While verifying the records, we will also make sure to add the missing building features to the health facility record which is going to import. And also, if the building feature is already existing, we will improve the geometry of the hospital building to the existing feature. All the import is done using the import specific account and also by specific chain set comment. Here is a QR plan which we follow in the import process. We use the chosen conflation tool to check the duplicates within the existing OSM data and the OGD data records before importing the data sets. We also ensure to run the JOSM validation tool on and before every import. We will repeat this process for all the data sets. Let's see some live examples while working with the import process. Here on the screen, you can see the enhancement of the tags of the pre-existing health facility. We have added the additional address related information from the open government data directories to the existing hospital building feature. Tag correction. We make sure to verify the pre-existing health facility data in OSM and correct the tag if required based on the type of the health facility like clinic or dispensary or edentish or a hospital etc. Here in this case, we have corrected the tag of a community health center from amenity hospital to healthcare equal to center by adding additional information from the input data source. In this picture, you can see that we have added the missing building feature in OpenStreetMap and also added the OGD attributes to the respected health facility. 
While importing the health facilities, we also make sure to improve the geometry of the existing hospital building feature to its building rooftop as per the satellite imagery in OpenStreetMap. While enhancing the high-res building for both pre-existing and the missing feature, we confirm them to move to the building footprint. While importing the hospital to OSM, we also use the inner and outer multi-polygon building relations wherever required. If we come across any pre-existing duplicate hospital at the same location, we will retain only the one node which has more information by adding the unique information from the other duplicate node. Then we will add the other additional information from the OGD input data source and submit the changes to the OSM. Last but not the least, this example shows how we enhance the hospitals in terms of feature tracing and also bring the attributes or the tags of the hospital. We have organized a OSM awareness program where few of the volunteers and the college students across Hyderabad came together to celebrate the geography and created new maps using OpenStreetMap. Here on the screen, you can see the workshop where the students are working in ID Editor using the map rollout challenges. In this program, we have discussed real-time importance of GIS and maps in the world. We have explained the key role of the OpenStreetMap in disaster management and hot activities. We also conducted interactive training sessions on the OSM editing tool where the new members were very enthusiastic to learn about OSM. Along with the training session, we have conducted the OSM workshop and MAPI award in this program where the students actively participated to contribute OSM roads and building map data in rural India. You can see the map roulette challenges and the pictures of building contribution made in this map year work. Few takeaways from this workshop. We can find many enthusiastic students who are passionate to map by conducting these kind of training sessions or workshop. These students also added few health facilities at their native places after knowing the role of the OSM in disaster management. This workshop will increase the awareness about the OpenStreetMap and also increase the contributor to OSM. Finally, here is the progress for the Indian health facilities import process till date. We have successfully imported 36.1% of Indian health facilities from OGT directories into OSM. We are very proud to show the before start of import and the current health facilities data in OpenStreetMap. We feel it's our honor to improve the OpenStreetMap data in India. Thank you so much for giving the wonderful opportunity to share our experiences in the virtual SOTM. To write us, please find the contact details on the screen. See you in the next SOT. I hope you liked the session. Thank you.
Okay. Um, thank you so much, Somia, for the amazing work that you've done in India. Uh, we have a couple of questions, so we'll quickly go through some of them. So the first one says, the attendee says that uh, he or she read somewhere that RMSI uses AI road tracing in mapping projects in India. Is this something you want to include in the project with the healthcare inputs? And if yes, how could this work? No, actually, we are not using that for the health facility project. Okay, yeah, but you use it in other projects? Yes, yes, uh, we do. By MSI? Yes, we do. Okay. We Okay, so the second question, um, uh, the attendee says that you mentioned converting data to GeoJSON before being imported. Why do you do this? Yeah, great question. So this we generally do it, or uh, sometimes we will do to one-to-one -one import where we have to create the map rollet challenges. So the GeoJSON format is more compatible for the creating the map rollet projects. Okay, um, then the third one is, how do you do the conflation with data that already exists in OpenStreetMap uh, to make sure that there are no doubles? And then how many health facilities were already in OpenStreetMap before you did the imports? And do you also look at the health facilities that are on OSM but are missing uh, and the data set that is coming from the, open, from the government? And do you also check if a facility has been closed or is or if it's open, if it's operational or if it's not? So like do you does this data have more attributes or is it just location data? So good question. Uh, thank you for asking this. So uh, let me explain the how we use the conflation tool. So we'll be getting the data in CSV format where the data and the location will be provided by the open government data, Indian directories where we will be using this layer into two different layers we'll uh, gen we'll uh, download the ex pre existing health facilities and amenity equal to hospital data into OSM and we will conflict to compare the existing hospital using the conflation tool in JASM. and uh, for the second question uh, like how many health facilities we are already in OSM so uh, if you are talking about like current uh, data, it's about 60,000 plus hospitals are already inputted into ASM. So any questions? Uh, something that you've not answered is someone asked uh, on the same question, uh, do you look at health facilities that are missing on the data set that's coming from the government? And maybe these health facilities, facilities are already on OSM. So yeah, generally we do it only in the local, like in our native places, we do that using the map project challenges. We are creating some map project challenges for the community who will add the hospitals based on their local knowledge. And also coming to the close ones, we will or every time we'll be downloading the republished data. You can see in the open government directory every month it will be uploaded. So we'll be comparing only. We will uh, exclude the data which are already closed. And the, the last bit on that question was: uh, Do you also ha have more like attributes? Like if a facility is open, closed, operational, yeah. and operational opening hours, and all that. Do you have yeah. also that information? Yeah, the some of the features are uh, very less number of features having these attributes like opening hours and all. So wh wherever we are adding, we are adding that, but most of them are not having these attributes. But we have the additional uh, website information, hospital information, contact information, email IDs, and all these things. Great. Um, so the next question would be how clean and reliable and complete is the government data? Like, is it updated? How recent is it? So, yeah, see, the open government data is contributed by the citizen as well. So you, we may expect lots of cleaning need to be done before we are uploading into OSM. 
so there are lots of invalid values which we are putting our efforts to clean all this data so uh, coming to the reliable we have also conducted some survey to uh, uh, to verify wherever we have the phone numbers as well we are trying to contact them if we uh, don't find the proper appropriate address so generally we will add the ad uh, data to oism after verifying the address based search whatever the address will at least try to reach out to the street where the hospital has been added so in that case we can say the government data is good uh, compared to the missing data in oism the next question you you had you had like a couple of questions here so the next question is asking on how do you match the indian healthcare system scheme to the osm tagging scheme because the person says that in the nn healthcare dataset he or she found 800 800 hospitals uh in terms of per district and categorized according to bed size but when you check on open street map there are 33.5000 uh facilities using the tag amenity uh is uh is equal to hospital uh, so he's asking if you can elaborate on the discrep on the discrepancy between the two data sets and the challenges that you might have faced in matching the indian healthcare system data to the osm tagging system So we have using three different facilities. In in health facility, it's purely we have the sub centers and the government hospitals. So that is the reason you might found only the eighteen hundred hospital in that directory. But these the coming to thirty three thousand of uh, hospitals which are taken from the hospital national hospital directory from the same OGD site. He the person also was asking. Uh, uh, were there any challenges that you experienced in matching like because you have this data which are health facilities with so much information and then you have OSM where you have to adhere to a certain tagging system were there any challenges in matching the two yeah we initially faced the challenging to convert all this uh, uh, OSM open government director attribute to osm tagging schema because you can see when you uh, go to the blood bank we have the nodal officer names and uh, also we can see the phone numbers of the nodal officer so we could not ma uh, map it because we are not sure because uh, the same person is allocated to the same unit or not in this, those cases we have excluded it but the important information like email id uh, phone numbers and all the address has been included in these cases and all, um and um, yeah we did some analysis regarding the healthcare access in india like uh, we we have tried to contact the um, yeah government officers of or chief executive officer of open government data so uh, to know the quality of the directors which you have then mentioned the next question uh someone is asking if you could explain the meaning of the tag healthcare is center are there physicians or doctors in them were health facilities without doctors included in the import and if yes how are they tagged um yeah so so even the healthcare equal to center is a group of uh, it is all the facilities also give the group of medical practices as we are uh, working on a two three different directories the hospital amenity is called to hospital is used for the big hospitals in india but coming to the india we have a health centers where we have a only general medic medicine services where we have a very limited services as we already discussed in the presentation where we have three types of uh, uh, government hospital approaches where we have only the one doctor for one hospital in that cases we are using the healthcare equal to center for those cases and in the description we are mentioning what kind of center it is for example it is a primary health center or it's a community health center or a sub center something like that okay um so coming to like if you know in health center we have only few physic uh, doctors will be available but not like a big uh, corporate hospital but so all this will be coming into the government hospitals in india okay um so 
Uh, the second last question would be, have you collaborated with healthsites.io? Um, because this is something that we saw after the COVID-19 pandemic went uh, broke out everywhere. We saw that there are a lot of uh, imports being done through healthsites.io. So someone is asking if you've collaborated with this platform or are using this platform as well. Uh, not actually, but initially, a uh, few of the community members, we have when we are starting this project, they have suggested these sites. But uh, uh, once we, we uploaded, automatically this site is taking our data and importing to that. So hopefully, our all the hospitals have, have been added. It has been uh, improved and uh, benefited to the COVID nineteen, which has been uh, useful in the site. Right, uh, because of time, we'll only answer one more question. Um, so uh, the person is asking, do you have any special authorization from the government or the Ministry of Health in India to include all this data in into OpenStreetMap? Yes, we do have. Uh, like uh, they have already posted in the open government site that this data can be reused and republished and as, they, as we want. And this uh, you can see in the license part in the same site. Uh, as I was saying, because of time, we'll have to end it here. And I was saying, thank you so much for presenting about your project. It's really impressive and seeing that huge amount of data into OSM. Uh, because of time, we'll not be able to answer any more questions, but I guess what you can do is you can go to the session pad and maybe yeah. write a, a few notes. And also anyone can contact you using the details that you provided at the end of your presentation. Again, thank you so much and hope you enjoyed the rest of the conference. Yeah, thank you. Thank you everyone for watching my video and for the great questions. Thank you so much.